got potential. Oh, okay. Because I play the, which is like the Dota Poppy. Do you think he's cute? Let's see. He's kind of cute. I think he's got potential. Yeah, I think he's got potential. I like that. He's got potential. Oh, okay. Because I play the. True, true. He is kind of cute as well. Lesson three. Uh, tell Admiral he's the best. He's a cutie. And say to tell him thank you so much because I really do appreciate it. Like at the bottom of my heart. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, okay? <laughs> now, people don't do nice things for me, so it's really nice. <laughs> Why am I leaving? Oh, I have to go. I have to go to sleep. Uh, tell Admiral. He's yes. Just like my friend Bulldog, Bulldog Shy. Oh, okay, okay. But Bulldog's cool. You and Bulldog should actually talk and meet. He'd like you. He like me? Yeah, he'll like you. Yes. yes. Mhm. Mm yep. Ooh. Team Pepija. He's my. He's really, really shy. Super shy, but cool, Ooh. cool, super cool guy. Very, very talented guy. One big tournament, lots of money. Ti Ooh. for Dota. Wow. Mhm. Mm yeah. Whoa. Oh, I, never I am Swedish. We allow two wives here. Stupid man costume donated five dollars. Says I want you to fuck my wife. Sure. Mm. Mhm. Mm Whoa. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, Birdo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Birdo. Yeah. Yeah. There nice. Who? <laughs> nice. Wow. Zoomers L next wow, you died. Game is frozen LUL. 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 Game is frozen Tap your tape. Stop. Rain down on my enemy. Oh. I'm gonna snap, dude. I'm gonna snap. Last patch, and it's like 20 second cooldown now, but. I guess it could be cool for uh, Enigma, maybe, too. It's like that extra bit they of damage, too. Fully all in on him, but they already kind of are anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, you know, they actually got a little bit close there. Yeah. If he can get the two, I mean, is there anything else besides those two that can cancel it? I think that's it, right? The yeah. abyssals? Yeah, it's just the abyssals. Yeah. Well. They can also use the tide hunter, so that he can't abyssal. Yeah, true. Roche, very, very low. Fear, ready to run into this one. Ravage gonna be used. Catches only onto two of them afterwards. BKB out from Abed. Aegis is on RTZ. They got the cheese still in the pit. The big oh, jump yes. in from Abed, catching onto all of them. Oh. It is the electric raven. Well, maybe a chance for a turn here with the hex on a storm, but no. The E Blade comes out in time. They're blowing them all to pieces. He's trying. He wants to make something happen here. Doing a lot of damage onto Abed. And now the Sir. turnaround, though. RTZ. Oh, he kills them off. Gets completely dismantled. That one hurt. That one really hurt. And GG's is the call. Arteezy gives him the tip afterwards. A little bit of appreciation for what happened earlier in the series. Damn. Yeah, that was that was some good Dota. Games, uh, games two and game three by EG looked uh, vastly different compared to game one, where they uh, they kind of ran away with the game both times. I mean, to be fair, Sad Boys kind of ran away with game one as well. So perhaps it is. Uh, a lot of that laning stage coming to uh, fruition, as uh, Gunner mentioned earlier. Mm. Great, great series that we witnessed, gentlemen. All right, uh, Jenkins, I'm going to hold on your word because it sounds like we do have our winner's interview already ready to go. We have none other than Arteezy himself joining us. Artur, thank you so much for hopping in and taking the time. First, congratulations. You got the big win here, taking down Sad Boys and concluding a big first week after you also took down four Zoomers previously. Uh, I'll start with a bit of a fun question, if you will. Sure. Obviously, there's a lot of hype coming into this one, going against Sad Boys and going against former members, PPD and Fear. What are your thoughts about them coming together as a team and even taking the moniker of Sad Boys at all? Did that kind of 
you know, how do you feel about that? Was that kind of like a name of yours? Or are you just kind of like, oh, they can have it? D did you have a little bit of extra oomph in your game today because you would against Sad Boys? I wish what are your I did have an that? extra, but I didn't, I didn't play so well. But to answer your question, I do feel as a bit in poor taste. You know, I think it's me and Zai's name. You know, they should have asked us for permission. <laughs> but uh, all jokes I, aside, it's fine. I think fear carries the banner in his heart. Fair enough. I knew there was some lore to that one. I have a Suns fan here. He's got a question he's burning to ask you. Mr. Arteezy, first and foremost, congratulations, sir. Great play overall today. What is it like having Ice 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 on the team? Does he liven things up? I mean, in terms of play, it seems like he's, for the most part, on the same page as you guys. He had an abyssal cancel the black hole. He picked up a a lost psychic headband and used it to kill fear on high ground, which is one of the <laughs> sickest plays I've seen. But what is it like having that that guy on your team? Oh, it's just really funny. Even the games that we struggle with, like they're just kind of hilarious to play. Like especially his Legion Legion game. He told us right away he's just gonna play ten Legion games after. And then <laughs> and it's just all good vibes yeah, that was a rough it feels one. like. So we're always in high spirits even in dark times. Okay. Jenkins, I know uh, you have a question for him. Uh, you're our resident NA expert. Yeah, I'm uh, going to come up with a big question here. Uh, hello, Art. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm wondering, what do you think is the most dog shit overrated hero that you are sick of people picking and playing in NA pubs? Um, all right, I got a good one. I think Timbersaw. That hero okay. is like... It feels, when I play against Timbersaw, his sole purpose is to ruin my laning phase. But when I have a Timbersaw on my team, he just loses the lane. Like, the last pub I played with Timbersaw, he lost to Wisp Core, Wisp ET. And, like, he's just so useless after. If he doesn't win his lane, he's so useless. And if he wins his lane, it's like a really high, like... It's very high skill hero to play, I think. Even though his skills are simple and, like, usually... His item builds are simple, but I do think he's one of the more high skill offlaners. Because he falls off really fast. True. True. Uh, okay. To round things out with one last question, uh, looking over the league itself, because we have to go in the next series. You got both your series wins this week, which is which is great. It did take three games to do it each time. Is this more EG just needs that bit of a warm-up to get used to it as you figure out your chemistry? Or should people give a little bit more credit to some of these NA teams that they're a bit stronger than they may seem? It's a bit of both, I would say, for sure. I think mm -hmm. the NA teams, they usually come up with uh, really unique strategies against us. Or at least it feels that way. It feels like if, when we play in NA tournaments before like lands, it's always very specific styles that we have to adjust to. As opposed to if we go to a LAN and we play against VG, it's kind of like simple for us. So we, it takes some time for us to adjust to how NA players like view the game. Um, there we and go. And I do think as well... <laughs> I personally think I need to play three warm-up games instead of one, because it seems like always the first game is really tough. J just from my perspective, I feel I play pretty bad, so I'm going to increase my warm-up game count. Are you waking up and then playing immediately? Or is that um, a bit of a break there between the Because the games are around like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. We do like prep two hours before around there. But I just, uh, it's so hard to find a game in the morning and in, in the afternoon to play. So this, Nobody's awake. Yeah, and like I have to play on a Smurf basically if I want to play a game. Other or if Quinn queues, I can play against him one v one, but that's pretty much. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Artur, for taking the time and uh, very humble, of course. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys play next week. It looks like your one match next week is going to be against Black and Yellow in Jubei. That should be a fun time. We're looking forward to that one. So get your rest, and we'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, that's Arteezy and Evil Geniuses at the top of the groups now. We're going to go to a very fast break because when we return, it's time to witness the debut of Quincy Crew in the NADPC as they take on Five Man Midas. We'll see you soon. <laughs>